Hey everybody, I thought I would do another granny square for you tonight. And I really liked this one because it kind of reminded me of a snowflake and, and I'm in Florida and I'm, I'm a little hot today. So I thought, let me see if I can do something to kind of help cool me off. So I decided to do this granny square. Um, all you'll need uh, is two shades of, any two shades of yarn that you like. I chose uh, white and blue just because for snowflake that kind of seemed appropriate. Um, I don't know where the end of my blue is here. So white and blue for, for me, and that's what I'll be doing tonight on camera. So um, uh, a needle to sew in your ends, of course, and then scissors. And then I use a 4.25 or a G hook. Um, and that gives us, oh, sorry, a square of about five inches by five inches. So if you want something a little smaller, then go down a hook size, or if you want something a little larger, then go up a hook size. But unfortunately you can't reduce the amount of rounds um, only because it, it, it needs all four rounds to, to look complete. So let's go ahead and get started. Get your supplies together, pause the video, and I'll meet you back in just a moment. Okay, so hopefully you have all your supplies together. I changed out uh, my mat to something black so you could see the white yarn a little better. Uh, we do start off with a magic circle, and in our, our first round, we're going to put uh, 24 double crochets in the magic circle. So it does need to be uh, fairly large. Uh, what I like to do, is uh, chain two just to kind of give me some height and then I go ahead and I start with my double crochets and hopefully um, by now um, you've you've learned that how to make a double crochet um, and uh, I don't have to go through that with you so I always like to just put a little stitch marker in that first one um, this way I don't get confused with the chain two. So go ahead and do 24 double crochets in your magic circle. And then once we have that in there, we're going to uh, pull tight and we're going to slip stitch into the first uh, double crochet. So go ahead and pause your video, do your 24 double crochets, and I'll meet you back at the end of round one. Okay, so that was the end of round one. So starting um, in round two, we're going to start to work these clusters around. And so it gets a, a little confusing, um, but it's it's not too bad as long as you have um, some, some basic knowledge of a double crochet. Um, it's not too bad. So the first thing we're gonna do after we slip stitch, I weave my tail in, is we're going to chain two. All right, so we're gonna chain two, and then in the same stitch, in that joining stitch, we're gonna do a double crochet. Okay, then we're gonna chain two, and then we're gonna go right back into that same stitch, and we're gonna do our first cluster. So let me show you how we're gonna do the cluster. You're gonna yarn over, insert your hook, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, and pull through those first two loops. Yarn over, go back into your stitch, or um, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through just those first two loops. Now you have three loops. You're gonna yarn over and pull through all three, okay? So it's like two half doubles as a cluster, okay? So after you get your first cluster, you're going to chain five, and you're gonna skip the next two stitches. So I'm in this stitch here, so one, two. And then in the following stitch, so in the third stitch, you're going to repeat that process by doing a cluster, chain two, and a cluster. So let's go ahead and just do it together just because it is a new concept with this, this type of cluster. So we're gonna skip two, and then in that next stitch, we're gonna do 
our next cluster. So you're going to yarn over and you're going to go into that next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and then pull, f this first one's always a little bit of a bugger, pull through those first two loops, okay? So you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, go back into your stitch, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, and go through those first two loops. So you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Chain two, and you're gonna do another cluster. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through those two loops, three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. And then to get to our next, we're gonna chain five. And then you're gonna repeat this all the way around. At the end, you should have eight clusters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It works out, if, if you count correctly, it should work out perfectly that you have eight clusters of two clusters, two clusters in one stitch, eight sets. All right, so go ahead and finish round two and I'll meet you back. Okay, so that was the end of round two. So we're gonna start round three. Um, I forgot to mention that after you're done with round two, you can go ahead and pass it off. And you know, I, I left a, a, a rather long tail. You're just gonna end up sewing this in. So leave it long enough that you can um, put your hook, your, your hook, your needle on there to sew it in. But you can go ahead and um, fasten that off. And then what I did just for the video purpose, um, I put stitch markers in my chain fives and then this one where you ended is a chain five. So you're going to start with your second color now. Where's my end? Okay, there it is. And you're going to start in a chain five space. So since this is where I ended, I'm gonna start there. Now, what we're doing um, for uh, round three is we're we're doing this row here okay so we're going to start in a chain five space and it's what it is is it's three trebles trebles a chain three and three trebles but the way this starts is you're you're starting with your your trebles and then when we come around we're going to finish off the corner so your corners are your your trebles and then the the in between um we're, you're gonna put half doubles. So we'll go ahead and do it together uh, for a few a few uh, turns, just so that you can see. So you're gonna attach your second collar with a slip stitch, and um, I would not do it over here because you're gonna come around. So, you know, in the middle, in the middle of the chain five, because um, leave a long enough tail so that you can sew that in. Okay, so you're just going to do a slip stitch. And because, um, goodness hold on oh heavens <laughs> this is what happens when you have dry hands it sticks to you <clears throat> sorry so when we um, start you know like how we start uh, most things you need to ha create the height so for this first uh, set we're gonna chain four so that we can get the height of a treble okay so that's chain four and with the treble we yarn over two times and then insert our hook and pull up a loop we're going to uh, pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the next two loops yarn over and pull through the last three loops and that's a treble so go ahead and do that one more time so that you have a total of three you have your chain four and two treble crochets, okay? So that's half of the corner, okay? Then we're going to chain two, and we're going to jump over, I like that jumping over, to the chain three space, okay? Just looking at my notes to make sure I'm telling you right. So here we're going to put three half double crochets. So go ahead and do that. Okay. 
three half doubles. And then we're gonna chain two, okay? And then this is our cluster, so now we're gonna to go to the next chain five space. And this is actually going to be our first complete corner. So we're going to do three trebles, Then we're gonna chain three and do three more trebles. So you may have to slide that over a little bit. Let me take out this stitch marker, so. And you don't have to do the stitch markers. I just did it so that um, you could kind of see because it's white on white and I didn't want it to get confusing. Okay, so now I'm up to my second half of the corner there. So I'm doing my other three trebles. And then I'm going to chain two and then my next space is my chain three so then I'm going to put three half doubles chain two and then I'm in a corner space three trebles chain three three trebles and you're going to go all the way around and I will meet you right here after you complete your three half doubles chain two and I'll we'll go over this last corner together all right I'll see you in a bit go ahead and pause the video Okay, so I just finished my last set of half doubles and I chained two. So now we're going to finish off this corner where we started. You can see this is where I, um, I almost said cast it on. <laughs> I also knit. So this is where you um, slip stitched your second color. So I did my chain two. So now I'm going to do three trebles and a chain three and connect it to the chain four that we made, okay? So I'm gonna do my trebles. Oops, trying to not get that white caught in there. So that's my three trebles. Now I'm gonna chain three, and then I'm gonna connect it to my chain four, the top of your chain four. And then that completes round three. So hopefully yours hard to see it like that. Hopefully yours is looking like this. Get that out of the way. So it should definitely be having that square look at this point. Your trebles are in the corners, um, squaring it off, and then the middle, the middle stitching is your half doubles. So you may have to just kind of scoot them together to kind of make them look neat. Okay, so let's go ahead and start round four. So we're going to start right where we ended on that uh, slip stitch there. Okay, so the easiest way, so now we're going to do this border of single crochet. So the easiest way that I can explain it is in the chain two spaces, wherever you jump to the next uh, cluster of stitches, you're going to put two double crochets. And then in every stitch, you're gonna put a single, uh, a one single crochet, I should say. And then on the corners, your chain three spaces, you're going to put five single crochets. So to start it off, we're going to um, chain one, just to kind of get a little height. And then right in that same stitch, we're gonna put a single crochet if I can get it in there. So remember, this is the first treble. So I should have 
two more stitches to put single crochet. So in the stitches I put one. Okay, so those are my three trebles. And then I have a chain two space, so I'm going to put two. Now I should have my three half doubles, so now that's one single crochet in each of the half doubles. Now I have another chain two space, so I'm gonna put in two singles. And now I have my three trebles. Three trebles, get in there. Now I'm in my chain three space, so I'm going to put five, five single crochets. And then that just rounds it out really nice, uh, makes it a really nice corner. And then of course, now you're back to your three trebles, so you're gonna put one stitch in each and then this is your chain two space. So you can put two singles, one, one in each stitch, and go all the way around. And I'll meet you at the end of round four. Okay, so I, I didn't remember if I had mentioned that after you do your last five single crochets, you're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet. And then that is the end. So you can go ahead and cut some yarn and again leave it long enough just to sew in the ends and I always do one more slip stitch so at this point you have this tail that you just ended with you have your blue tail that you so you know that you started that you added and then the the white tail and then I had already sewn in my um, center my beginning tail so that's it after you finish your tails. Um, you should have a completed set. Um, and with this one, it's really nice um, that it's a square so you can make this into a blanket or it, this would be hard to keep growing um, unless you just did the outer border and then this would be the center. So if you wanted to maybe do like a tablecloth, you could, um, or just a, a really large square. But a lot of times the granny square, what's so nice about it is that you can just keep adding and adding onto it. But with this one, with it such a, a centralized uh, piece, it's hard to duplicate that. So you could only just duplicate the outer border. Um, so that's it. The, um, blocking would really help, help its shape sometimes because um, when I crochet, I kind of like crunkle it up and, and I'm working along. So when I'm done with a piece, I usually have to um, straighten it out. And sometimes just the heat of your hand can kind of flatten it up a little bit. And then you can always use a blocking board and um, make it really nice and square so that it just really sets nice. And that's it. So if you have any comments, please uh, leave a, a comment below. If you have any questions, I mean, leave a comment below. Please like and subscribe. And um, hopefully this was a tutorial that was helpful to you. And, and at the end, you have a really pretty cooling um, granny square. Thanks so much for watching and you have a great evening. Bye-bye.